Well, we do like to bring you the very biggest names in sport on Sports Bite. The person I'm here with tonight is no different. Olympic champion and double world champion Ruta Miutita, thank you for joining me on Sports Bite tonight. Firstly, let me congratulate you on that epic 2012. Um, what were your reflections on that? How did you find that experience? I mean, I had so many great times and uh, great memories from all the 2012. It's been a great year. And, you know, um, I hope, hopefully, I have more years to come like that. Well, you're 15, you're an Olympic champion. Let's focus on those Olympics in London 2012. Um, you know, it was a huge, huge achievement, obviously, but how did you feel when you're coming in as a relative unknown into the, into the Olympic Games? You were flying under the radar, so to speak. How did that help you out in the early stages of that 100 metre breaststroke? I think um, I've had the confidence in me before all that win, and I think having that confidence in me is I was pretty chill going into the final and um, you know, what me and my coach spoke about was just getting the process right, not worrying about anyone else. So um, I was pretty relaxed and it's helped me to focus on the Olympics. And you touch that wall, you turn around, you see the board and you see that you're Olympic champion. What on earth was going through your mind at that time? <laughs> I think uh, it's hard to understand it when it happens and it takes time to for it to sink in and it took me quite a while. I think it really hit me on the podium right? like the, the and the and then all the emotions just started pouring out. How has your life changed, if at all, since those Olympic Olympics? Um, I think nothing's changed that, that much but obviously all the attention and I think uh, now I've got um, an opportunity to make a swimming more popular in Lithuania which is not uh, you know, the facility's not great, uh, but, um, that's what made me aim. Well, you pushed on from that very, very quickly. You were in the World Short Course Championships in Istanbul in December. Double world champion from that. Um, what were your experiences in Istanbul? Uh, I was, I mean, it was such a good fun with my team. Uh, it was a great experience. Never had the World Ch Championship Championships before, so it was, you know, nice to swim fast and enjoy as much as you can really. And a lot of your success has been accredited to this really, really close relationship that you share with your coach John Rudd down in Plymouth. Um, how big an influence has he had on your career? Uh, I mean, yeah, he's had a huge influence. I mean, he's my coach and um, uh, those few years that we are trained with him uh, so far have been absolutely great and it's great to know him and um, our relationship is really, really good. And, I can have done it Well, we have actually John here, uh, if you'd like to bring him on. John, thank you for joining us tonight equally. Um, how good is it to train someone like Ruta? Oh, it's, a, it's a great honour because uh, she is uh, the ultimate professional and does pretty much everything I ask of her. And um, uh, in the pool, in the gym, uh, in, her, in her private life, everything's about her performance and uh, it makes my job a lot easier when I don't have to worry about things like that writing great sets and getting her to swim fast. <laughs> well, we're here at the Books Championships this weekend, your first Books Championships. What are your thoughts on these university nationals? Um, I think it's great how many uh, you know, young people are involved in the sport and it's, it's great to be here and hopefully maybe one day um, you know, I'll, I'll race on the side and the finals. And well, one thing the Olympics did do was definitely put the sport of swimming on our TVs over here in Britain, which was fantastic coming from a personal point of view. What's your thoughts on the coverage of the sport generally in this country and where they can improve? I think uh, you can certainly improve on popularity. Uh, more people uh, you know, should get involved with the sport. I mean, it's great. And more kids should be water safe and not, you know, not necessarily go into the professional bit of sport, but just know how to swim and, yeah, not afraid of water. Well great, it's a busy old season as well this season with the British Championships coming up in June, you've got Leeds meet before that and then all being well the World Championships in August. What are your aims ahead of the rest of the season? I think the main focus is Barcelona for sure and then I've got um, World, Junior. World Junior Championships yeah, in Dubai in June. And I think that's just part of the preparation and well, Ruta, again, thank you for joining us. John, to you as well, thank you for joining us tonight. We wish you the best of luck ahead of the rest of this weekend and for the rest of the season. Hopefully we can catch up in the future. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.
This is Andy Sixsmith reporting for Sportsbite.